The Bible says, do not let your heart be troubled. Jesus said, in my Father's house are many mansions. That word troubled in Greek is shudder. Don't let your heart shudder. Don't have a heart quake. Even death can't kill your hope. God healed me because he showed me he's El Roy. He's the God who sees. When no one else could get me, God does, and God did. God healed me because he loved on me, and his perfect love cast out my fear. I have such a passion and zeal in my heart to help people overcome depression. Depression is the main part of my story, the great dragon that I had to fight for over 10 years, probably to be more specific, 11 years. And I got diagnosed with complex post-traumatic stress disorder. My counselor told me, Ben, you have one of the most difficult cases of depression that I've ever had to treat. So here's my story in a nutshell. When I was in third grade, I gave my first sermon. When I was 16 years old, I start traveling around and speaking, and then I became a pastor at a mega church teaching at 18 years old. As a senior in high school, I'm teaching people three times older than me, and I quickly realize that I don't have the answers. I quickly fell into a deep despair, the slew of despond and depression, and for over a decade, I had to battle this feeling of, of loneliness, this feeling of isolation, and three times I almost killed myself. So I wanna tell you this, no matter what depression you're facing, if God could heal me, he can heal you too. Now what happened in my story is, my brother passed away from cancer, my sister died in a car accident, after an eight-year relationship, I went through the most heart-wrenching breakup that just left me devastated. And I thought, I can never be happy. There's no way I could ever be happy again. Not to mention the fact I have this stalker who follows me around. He did it to my dad when I was a kid too. Caused a car accident. He was protesting so loud a few months back in Florida, just like trying to dis destroy my family's ministry. And, and sometimes we feel like life's just horrible. <laughs> Like seriously, that's what you feel like. You're like, life is terrible. It's just not worth living. But God rescued me. He healed me. He can heal you too. God rescued me because I went on walks and just started talking to him. Science shows that if you talk to God about your hopes, fears, and dreams, it has the same effect on your brain as therapy. God healed me through his promises. There are over 3,500 promises in the Bible. And no matter how many problems I had, there were even more promises that eclipse them. God healed me through something called the 10,000 hour rule. I started just practicing my craft, not looking for happiness, but instead chasing purpose and meaning. For 11,073 hours and five years, I just practiced writing, preaching, studying, and throwing myself into purpose no matter what I felt and joy followed. God healed me also through endorphins, finding that physical exercise help. Did you know a 40 minute jog has the same effect on your brain as a strong antidepressant? God healed me because he taught me that he can rewrite my story. He's the author of my faith who has all my days written in his book. God healed me through my friends, crazy friends with skateboards who didn't do a lot of therapy with me. They just showed me that life could be fun again. Maybe you're depressed because you're hanging out with depressing people. Go hang out with joyful people. God healed me because he taught me to own my oddness, that my oddities are my commodities. I wasn't made to try to be someone else and project cognitive dissonance into the world, but to be exactly who God made me to be oddness and all. God healed me because he assured me of heaven. The Bible says, do not let your heart be troubled. Jesus said, in my father's house are many mansions. That word troubled in Greek is shudder. Don't let your heart shudder. Don't have a heart quake. Even death can't kill your hope. God healed me because he showed me he's El Roy. He's the God who sees. When no one else could get me, God does and God did. God healed me because he loved on me and his perfect love cast out my fear. And finally, God healed me because he gave me dreams. We're gonna have nightmares and we're gonna have dreams, but we overcome our nightmares because of our dreams. As we enjoy the joy of being enjoyed by God, as we delight ourselves in him, he gives us the desires of our heart. That's what God did in my life. And God's gonna heal you too. He's working in your life. So do not give up. That is the center of everything. Keep going, don't quit. All pain is finite. Keep living, keep fighting, hold on another day, pain will end. I love you guys, and the hope is with you. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make 
the gospel of grace go around the world. Without you, we couldn't do it. God bless you.